So not only was it like unbelievable how the crowd reacted after Melania's prayer, but check out halfway through the prayer what the crowd starts to do. You start to hear them join in. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Good afternoon. It is my honor and great pleasure to stand here before you as the First Lady of the United States. The America we envision is one that works for all Americans and where all Americans can work and succeed. A nation committed to a greater civility and unity between people from all sides of the political divide. I will always stay true to myself and be truthful to you, no matter what the opposition is saying about me. I will act in the best interest of all of you. I'm committed to creating and supporting initiatives dear to my heart, which will have impact on women and children all around the world. My husband is creating a country of great safety and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Okay, so toward the end of the prayer, did you start to hear, hear everyone chime in and actually join in finishing off the prayer with her? It just, it sounded so amazing. It was awesome. You know, when Melania uh, continued after the prayer to, uh, with her speech, one of the things she says is that they have an America that has a vision of, um, for all, for all Americans, I think is what she says. Um, that they would work for all Americans. Talk about um, promises made and promises kept because everything that, uh, tr that Trump did in his presidency was for all Americans. And then the next thing she says was um, the, that their focus is to, no matter what political side you stand on, that their work is to bring unity together. Now, some would um, argue that that unity he wasn't you know uniting us well if you don't like trump obviously anything he did no matter how well he did it especially all, everything he did for minorities and and just really helping the economy we were making more money the, the whole list goes on um if you don't like trump you're going to find some negativity in that but promises made promises kept he definitely tried in, uh, in bringing the, the world together, the, our country together. One example I have is um, when all the crime was happening and, in Chicago, and he called up the governor and the mayor and said he'll help and bring in the National Guard, and they didn't want his help, right? He makes the attempts, but it's up to them um, to take it, right? And, and then another thing was um, that kind of caught my eye Oh, American, uh, I mean, when uh, Melania says that she promises to be true to herself 
and true to all of us, no matter what they say about her. She promises made, promises kept. She absolutely did that because she was never recognized for the really, all the attributes, all the assets she bought, brought into a first lady's role. How many languages, eight or 11 languages she speaks and the diversity that she brought into um, the role was amazing. And she was never recognized in magazines. All the first ladies got in magazines. She never was. Um, she, she was always just bashed by the media, never ever highlighting all the goodness she did as a first lady. So for both of them, promises made, promises kept.